Good afternoon. Today we are talking about the IKEA business model and I'm going to run you through the, the main features in the next two to three minutes. My name is Dennis Oakley. I specialize in designing disruptive business models for companies of all sizes. So IKEA took the furniture industry um, by storm uh, when it first came out because it did uh, one thing very differently. Instead of making wonderful pieces of wooden furniture like my grandmother bought, it bought, gave you pieces of furniture in a box that you took home and you assembled. And it was very much aimed at home homeowners um, who wanted to do themselves. And it offered two very important things. Firstly, it was affordable. Secondly, it looked good. And coming out of the 1970s, when a lot of things were expensive uh, and you had to pay a lot for style, this was world shattering. It was incredibly innovative. Then also because uh, the furniture could be flat packed, it then made it very, very easy to undercut everybody else because you could have huge warehouses full of boxes of stuff that could then be shipped out cheaply, easily and systematically rather than having to the logistics to be taking um, boxes um, uh, also fully French pieces of furniture all over the world. That made the logistics so much simpler, giving them a huge cost advantage. Thirdly, the, the way that the IKEA showrooms are laid out, every single showroom in the world is laid out the same way, or pretty much I've been to the ones in UK, Malaysia and a couple of other countries. And you have the upstairs and it lays around in the same way. And every showroom is about the same. It takes you through uh, the, the living and sleeping arrangements, then into the kitchen, then into the office, and then downstairs for lots of small knickknacks. This way, IKEA is able to spend a lot of money optimizing the perfect flow in its retail stores. And this is the, the core of the IKEA business model. In front of us here, we've got the IKEA business model canvas. There's a lot of detail here. I'm not gonna go and try and go into it in three minutes. But remember, very clearly defined segment, homeowners, focus on functionality and aesthetics and massively slashing the cost of the logistics and the supply chain, all of which is supported by the IP and beautiful design and lots of processes to cut the cost structure of the business down. IKEA fundamentally is a resource driven, cost focused business that gives the customers what they need at a price that they can afford.